<coughs> so this is the final product I have uh, relieved it here as you see I put a little bit of liberal glue on this not to see the difference so that it's not touching here so that there's really a relief and as you can see the the coverage is okay and now also with the use of this tool you can see how it's blunting off the high spots that is the better way of using it instead of scraping like that so and um, essentially what I've done is I've glued the turkite on after prepping it I mean with um, cleaning it properly with brake cleaner with pulling the oil out with um, with a torch with heat with scratching the surface I then use the two component, uh, not exactly long uh, curing, but uh, at least uh, three hours. It's what I uh, what I got, the two uh, component epoxy. Um, pinned it down. I mean, with um, uh, weighted down so that it should be firmly in place. Of course, the best would have been to to put it in place but since these are a little bit wider I wanted to have full contact pressing down afterwards of course there's a lot of residue glue which I have to take off had to take off which also meant that I had to repaint which is not a big deal anyway And then of course the next uh, thing would be to scrape it. I scraped it, found that it was high here, so I stepped scraped it. That means I scraped first. It was also uh, highest here in this direction and in this direction. So I had to step scrape it first, or actually first in this direction. So I took, say I drew a line here, took this uh, five times, four times, three times, two times, one time, and this I left alone. And then I did the same here, just I think I took four like that. I took that four times, no, three times, two times, one times, and left that alone. Uh, and then, of course, what you have to do is that you have to alter the direction so you take the first scrape here in that direction and then you alternate take one plus two whoops one plus two first three zip, and four and five and the same when you go this way like that and then uh, uh, of course doing it testing it uh, re-scraping until I got the correct bearing and verifying that and then I made the relief in the middle here uh, which is uh, deeper than this so this should rest on four pads not wobble about and to finish that side or that in there I have to turn it like that and take this one so and then measure the plan then to to get this level all to the reference plane here what will be obvious is that the scraping marks here are deeper. You see how it fluctuates. So on.
two or three hundredths of a millimeter or this two. So <clears throat> here I am a little bit into the scraping process. Uh, might actually soon call today. It's a little bit of an area over here where it doesn't fill it. And then I put the relief in here also and then corrected the uh, so I got the correct towing angle, tow in angle, so that it's when you when you face that it toes in with about one thousandth or let's say one hundredth of a millimeter, that is two thousand approximately, in. So you get a hollow shape on what you what you face. So this is my very awkward setup for measuring the, uh, the toe in. And to be able to measure without having a faceplate available, uh, I have mounted an, a square here and um, a normal machinist square. Just tuck down the, the, the saddle here and then measure against the flat of this. A little bit awkward, but it functions. And then I put oil grooves in. Of course, I had to redrill the holes uh, after the because I forgot to to um, well the glue entered there, so I had to redrill every hole. But uh, lastly, I put oil grooves in, and I made kind of a scooping tool. It's not very high tech. Okay. Doesn't take long. Just, uh, so finito here also. Having cut the path all along there, I'm satisfied. I'll do the same on the uh, this with turkite on the rear shim here. I think so. Every every and I did it also on the shim that goes here of course so scraping the gib <coughs> the front gib gluing it up and you can use the same technique as you use on pieces that they shall center 30% in and it's not that bad coverage either so a little bit more then we'll use it so that every surface that rides on the bed will be turquoised and now of course the accuracy is is um, is okay after all this work so essentially after step scraping it and now finish scraping I have if I zero the indicator over here I have maybe half a thou or something here which is okay the deviation you see is, the, is of course the scraping marks so it's essentially zero over the entire length here Let we move it to the other side okay so this is low and it is fairly consistent scraped the rear here a little bit like that and then measure against the flat of this so over a distance of fifteen or 12 centimeters or something it went 
four hundreds which it might be a little bit too much so I might take it a little bit down here again with the scraping but you get the point I hope with okay coverage okay so far so good runs freely up and down I haven't this is just a temporary setup the old type still fitted but with the, I mean the new hold, the old holder and then I just fitted some new felt 